Good morning, it's July the 12th. I have to take some books over to the Sask Books office, so we'll take a little walk through the park. I switched back to my old gimbal because the new one just doesn't work and I'm actually sending it back. And I bought a new one with the money, not of a, dif of a different type, so we'll see if that works better. This one, this old one works, but it too has been showing signs of jerkiness and it also has some other problems, so I'm hoping the new one will be new and improved, but I can already tell looking at the old one that it's smoother than the new one was. So I don't know if there was a problem with it or not, or if they could have replaced it and a new, another one would have worked, but in any event, I gave up on it. Yesterday's walk, if you look at it, was particularly bad. Hello. Somebody's already checking in. Electric pineapple. <laughs> uh, might be a bit of a hike. <laughs> don't, don't usually walk quite that far. Morning. Yeah, I can already see that the old gimbal is smoother than the new gimbal was. At the same time, it too has shown signs of jerkiness from time to time, so... Anyway, I bought a new one. I'll get it probably tomorrow. I don't know if I'll have it for whatever walk I do tomorrow, but going forward I should have that one. Hopefully it works and I don't have to send it back too. Here's our first dog. This plastic here would be to try to kill the weeds, I'm sure. Which reminds me, I need to get some weed killer into our little graveled area behind our garage. So besides taking books over to Sass Books, I'm doing other publishing stuff, of course. So much publishing stuff. No, I'm unlikely to try those electric scooters. Uh, the, there's no way the helmets they provide would fit me. I have a big head. And anywhere I would scooter to, I could just as easily walk to, probably, so why scooter when you can walk? I do see them everywhere. They seem to be killing trees up here, <laughs> or at least cutting something down. That was a, a big branch just hauled across the sidewalk there. Also, I don't think I could live stream and scooter at the same time, not safely, not without a GoPro. Oh, they're clearing, take it down to spruce. That's unusual. Sorry. I don't think I've ever seen a see them taking down a spruce before in this neighborhood. I wonder why. Picking off the branches and then chipping them over here. I don't like seeing trees cut down. Although we have one in our front yard that's suffered quite a bit of damage, I hope it, uh, I hope it hangs in there. It lost a good, I don't know, 10 feet off the top in a storm a few years ago. It seems to still, you know, putting out greenery and stuff, but it also has one branch that's definitely not doing well, so. Well, we'll leave it. So we have to take it down if we ever have to. I have taken trees down in our yard. There was one at the back that was dead, and there was one that grew up on the corner of the garage that was never supposed to be there. It just grew up on its own. We took that out when we started working in our back, because they're building a, well, they built a deck last year, and now we're building a small extension slowly. Should have all been done last year, but the city wouldn't come through with the building permit because our engineering firm seemed to not be able to give them what they wanted, so it dragged out for months. Very annoying. <laughs> uh, I know you've said something else, but I can't quite see it in this light. I will respond when I can. I'm assuming you still can't go under the bridge. If I'm wrong about that, I'll go under the bridge. It's been blocked because of the sinkhole on the other side. I 
you read it here, maybe. Yeah, people talk to me occasionally. Hello, they call me JJ. Only once or twice has there been anything weird. I cut one where I talked to a guy that was weird. I actually edited it out. So there's the sinkhole is just over there where all that equipment and stuff is. No, I'm not referring to the legislative building as a sinkhole, although <laughs> at times, <laughs> if the sobrequé fits. Okay, this time we're gonna go up uh, this way, right where that, Oh good, it pulled off the path, so this here is Speaker's Corner, as I like to point out, with lanterns that did at one point stand in Hyde Park where the real Speaker's Corner is. There's the sinkhole. I don't see that they're uh, doing anything there, but it's it's there. why there's a truck up here. I've seen all sorts of equipment and stuff today. I may or may not stream my walk back later. Yeah, people people react differently. Most people don't seem to care. Once in a while I'll get somebody who'll sort of cover their face as they go by. Sometimes people will cross the street. <laughs> Back when I was a newspaper reporter in Weyburn, I'd have to do man on the street interviews and you got a lot of that. They'd see you with the camera and the notepad and they would cross the street rather than give you their opinion. Because they knew that they'd end up with their picture in their paper and their opinion under it, and they didn't want that, which, you know, I can understand. All they had to do was say no when I talked to them, and I wouldn't have used it. I hated doing man-on-the-street interviews for that reason. But when you're a newspaper reporter, you often feel unwanted, because <laughs> unless people are promoting something, if it's a real newsworthy item, they generally aren't that thrilled to have you there reporting on it. There's the Royal Saskatchewan Museum over there. Of course, the lake is over there. The new swimming pool is in behind those trees. We'll see it in a minute. We're finally getting our new furnace put in tomorrow, so there'll be no walking tomorrow. I say, well, the gimbal will be here Friday. I keep thinking this is Thursday, but it's only Wednesday. You can see a little bit of the playground through there. You can hear people screaming, which is usually a sign of a swimming pool. Or, you know, some sort of horrible thing happening. But if it's children, it's usually just a swimming pool. Or a playground. I might take a detour through the uh, grass here just to get another look at the pool. Oh, it's warmer than I thought it was. I wore long pants because it was kind of chilly this morning and now I'm thinking shorts. Shorts would have been the way to go. Oh, they've got... Uh, They've got these flower beds in. That's nice to see. My impression is they've been mostly barren because of the work on the pool. They didn't bother to put these in, but there they are. Oh, there happens to be some sort of vehicle sitting down there, but the, the bandstand or the gazebo that I walk by is right down there.
Yeah, but when you're in public, uh, you're in public. Anyway, I try not to be blatant about it. If somebody walks by, I won't. I'll often point in the other direction, but I can't always. So. Over here's the pool. I haven't actually walked up to it from this side since it went into operation, I don't think. So there's the new water slide. Actually, I hear screaming, but it's not coming from the pool. There doesn't seem to be hardly anybody in the pool. So maybe it's something else. Anyway, there's our new water slide and the new pool beyond that. But from this side. So it's kind of a spray park down on this corner. So I'll head over here. Oh, there's a whole troop of children. I wonder what that's all about. There are summer camps held in the conservatory over here in the college building, which we'll be passing by here in a minute. Or possibly through. No, I'll walk behind it today. And then check out the frog. That's what I wanted to do over here. There's a frog that was a sculpture on the grounds of the college building up here, which was uh, which used to have the art department in it. And uh, it was created by the noted artist Joe Fafard and his students back in the 70s. And it has naturally deteriorated over the years. And then they had it in a box for a long time. But... Uh, Apparently they have um, renovated it, so we'll take a look at that on our way by here. This is Dark Hall. The new wing of the college building, which replaced an old wing that was beyond saving when they redid the rest of the building. <clears throat> Apparently the current standards are when you renovate an old building, you don't do the renovation in the same style as the old building, like if you do an addition, so that you can tell where the historic part is. Yeah, they ran, same thing at the government house, which of course I wrote the history book about. Um, the Queen Elizabeth II wing, although it matches well, is different. Now, what are all these children doing? Must be part of the conservatory camps. It's, it's the college building, but one of its main tenants is the uh, Conservatory of Performing Arts. A little bit of sculpture here as well, back here. My daughter went to some of those camps way back when. So the building we're going to is dead ahead. Then I am walking on downtown from there, but I don't think I'll stream a second part. I might. You just stop it, get the books inside, and then... Now, there's not actually a path through here, but... Close enough. There's the frog over there. College uh, Gardens, directly across from us, is the first condo building built on the old Central Collegiate grounds. Now, they were also doing a lot of work on the front of this building, so let's see where that's at when I get over there. Here's the frog. 
it had uh, like a hole in it, and so they had to, I guess, recreate parts of it, because I'm sure there was a damage back here. Yeah, I can sort of see some fresh concrete here and there. Anyway, there's the frog, now refurbished. Quite possibly my thumbnail for today's walk. Get it right about downtown is that away. What time is it? Yeah, I'll probably go straight to uh Can I get through here? No, I gotta go all the way around the front to get up the steps it looks like. I'll probably go down to uh Cornwall Center from here. I have to go to the drugstore. And that'll probably, after that, be time to go on to lunch at the hotel, so. I don't think I'll stream that, because it's a very short walk. Probably this is it for the day. So, I guess they're repairing the brickwork or something. This is College Avenue, of course. The older apartment buildings, but a nice looking one. Been there as long as I've been aware of the buildings on this street, so a long time now. Right, I was trying to remember what the name of it is now. It used to be called the Canada Saskatchewan Soundstage, but now it's the John Hopkins Regina Soundstage. And, uh, you know, getting more work in here again. They've got a really high-tech, one of those high-tech uh, background screens that are being used a lot, like in The Mandalorian and shows like that, where it's almost impossible to tell they're not shooting on location somewhere. So we'll go in here. The rest of the building is behind that. It's just a facade, except for this tower. This is still the original, but everything else is a facade. All right, so we'll stop here. Thanks for walking with me. And that's probably it for today. If, but if not, if you subscribe, you'll get notified if I pop back up again. Bye for now.